Hello everybody, so today we are going to be covering what is torque, the relationship between force and torque, and a couple working examples. So let's begin. So now let's go over torque. So torque, or the moment of force, or rotational force, or a turning effect, is the rotational equivalent of linear force. Just as linear force is a push or a pull, a torque can be thought of as a twist to an object. So the unit you use when calculating torque is a newton meter. Now do not confuse centripetal force with torque. As centripetal force is the minimal force required to keep an object rotating in orbit, and torque is a rotational force. So the symbol for torque is tau. It's a Greek letter, and it is written like this. So some things to note about torque is that torque is a vector quantity, and its formula is torque is equal to the radius multiplied by the force multiplied by sine theta. So in this picture over here, torque is applied perpendicular through a wrench to the nut. And that is at a 90 degree angle. And since sine 90 is 1, so and since sine 90 is 1, torque would be maximum. So in other words, the torque here would simply just be, the torque would simply just be the radius multiplied by the force. But that is only when the force is applied perpendicular to the radius. Another thing to note is that the larger the distance or the radius gets, the higher the torque. All right, now let's go over some common examples. So some common examples of torque are hinge doors, seesaws, wrenches, and opening cookie jars. Okay, now if you look at this diagram, on the right over here, you can see another good visual example. So, when you have double the force, you would only need half of the radius to compensate for it. So here you have person A with a thousand newtons of force and person B with only 500. So therefore, person A would need to sit one meter away from the pivot and person B has to sit two meters away from the pivot. So if you compare the torque in both cases, both in person A and B, so we multiply the radius by the force. So the force of person A is 1,000 newtons multiplied by the radius, one meter, and then the torque of person B. So the force of 500 newtons, and you multiply that by two meters. So all of them equal up to B. So both of them equal up to B, one th both 1,000 newton meters. So therefore, it would be a balanced torque at the pivot. Now, let's do our first working example. So how much torque is produced by opening a jar of cookies if the lid on the jar has a radius of five centimeters and the force exerted tangentially on the lid is 125 newtons. So before we do anything, let's first write down what we know. So the force, is 125 newtons. The radius is 0 0.05 meters. The angle is 90 degrees since it's tangential and we are trying to figure out the torque. So we know that the formula for torque is the radius 
times the force multiplied by sine theta. So the angle here is 90 degrees and sine 90 is equal to 1, which means we only really have to multiply the radius by the force. So the radius is 0 0.05 meters, and we have to multiply that by the force, so 125 newtons, and that is 6.25 newton meters. Okay, now let's do working example number two. So a 100 gram pendulum swings in a clock, never swinging past an angle of 10 degrees with the vertical. If the pendulum swings on a three meter long arm attached to a pivot, what is the max amount of torque of the pivot? Assume that gravity is 10 meters per second square. So before we do anything, let's first write down what we know. So, the mass of this pendulum is 100 grams, and if we transfer that into kilograms, it is 0.1 kilograms. The radius is a 3 meter long arm attached to the pivot, so it is 3 meters. The angle is 10 degrees, and the gravity is 10 meters per second square, and we need to find the torque. So we know that the formula for torque is the radius multiplied by the force, multiplied by sine theta. So another way for calculating force, the force of gravity on an object to be specific, you have to multiply the mass by the gravity. So you can also calculate the torque by multiplying the radius by the mass and the gravity, and then again by sine theta. So all that's left to do is just fill in this formula. So the radius is three meters. We multiply it by the mass, so 0.1 kilograms. Then we multiply that by the gravity, so 10. And then we multiply that by sine 10 degrees, which is 0 0.17. And that is 0.51 Newton meters. This is equal to 0.51 Newton meters. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, remember to drop a like and subscribe. Hope to see you in my next video. Bye!